day nine in quarantine. Looks like I wasn't the only one uh, who started to uh, cease shaving until we get some positive re news on um, COVID-19. Ben Roethlisberger looks like he got a little bit more of a head start on this uh, than I did. Um, I didn't um, come up with the idea until later in the in the uh, in the disease progression where I said, hey, when we get two days in a row of a decreasing, increasing, but a decreasing rate, then we can all feel good about things. So here's the update today. Um, uh, U.S. in a solid third position there. Um, what's not good is our spike yesterday. So we still are in that, um, still have a, still have to get see some slowdown so we begin to flatten that out um so that was not encouraging but i think a lot of that is due to the um more widespread availability of tests so the more tests you do you're going to get more positives reported um so it's a shame we didn't have those tests right at the beginning um, but i think that's what attributes some of that um encouraging in some places this is the netherlands where it looks like they've peaked and are coming down, the United Kingdom, Switzerland looks like they're about up at their peak, trying to trying to flatten down, France doesn't look very good, um, and Germany may have peaked and is on its way down, and realize once from the peak, it's about 8 to 10 days where it really drops off quite a bit, and then um, things can start to get back to normal, Spain had a big jump, and that's a part of the uh, the overall rise globally um let me see the other thing i'm still so encouraged about is this with the hydroxychloroquine azithromycin so if you see on here where the green dot on day three that's where it looks like about 15 only 15 percent of patients are still testing positive Whereas those getting no treatment, they're still 80% are positive on day six. So by day three, if you're down to just one or two out of 10, um, that's a heck of a lot less um, virus positive people exposing other people. And by day five, it's gone. So if we look at that peak information of where we are, uh, that's Spain, let's get to the US, um, th that that would have gone to, um, you know, 10 days till we see a flattening or start seeing a drop off. I think with the advent of this drug, of these two drugs, if there's enough of it available to treat those who are positive, that we'll see that go down and it could be um, five days from the peak till we get down to a nice flat way down here and we can all go back to work and uh, create new things to do with excess amounts of toilet paper, maybe Christmas decorations of some kind. All right, that's it. Day nine in the bunker.